Hello, YouTube family. Tom, a.k.a. Patrick, from Patrick's Playbook. Here today with a Billboard Top 5 Songs from February 12th, 1983. Woo, I'm so excited about this countdown. If you are new to this channel, I would love it if you subscribed, liked, gave me a like, uh, left a comment. I answered them all. Hit the bell for notification. Any of the four, any of the three, or just even one of the three, one of the four. That would be absolutely lovely. Thank you so much. For those of you who follow um, my channel on the regular, thank you so much for your support. It helps me so, so much. And I love each and every one of you because I feel like we are a community. Um, the comments, everyone in the comments is so great. And um, gosh, without further ado, let's begin the countdown. Okay. I'm really excited about this one. So the 1980s, if you are new to this, um, if you haven't seen any of my top five countdowns before, this is from the actual American Top 40 Countdown by Casey Kazem, the immortal Casey Kazem, from, um, again, February 1983. What I do is every week, I'm going to jump one year forward and whatever week we are actually in in real life, and I'm just going to keep going all the way through and just and just keep doing this all year long. Because because I love this. And those of you who have left comments have said you've really enjoyed this. And I'm going to count down the songs five to one. Let you know some facts about each song. And then I'm going to give you my own personal ranking of which of these five I like in order. Woo! Let's go! The number five song for February 12th, 1983 is Africa by Toto. Now, this song had fallen from number one, so this song was number one earlier in the year. Actually, two weeks before this, it was number one. And it was only number one for one week, but this is an iconic song. It stayed in the top 40 forever. It was written by two members of the band. Um, I'm gonna look at my notes for a second. David Pike and Jeff Porcaro. So, this song is so legendary. It is played so often now. You know, everyone knows, you know, kind of the, if, you're, if you're a fan of 80s radio, everyone, they play this song every single day. You know, I drive my daughter to school and we hear this song so often, probably at least once a week. You know, kind of the main chorus, you know, gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. You know, and just the, I, the chorus, I'd miss the rains down in Africa. Just this song is so iconic. It's been in movies. And, and again, you know, this was number five. It had fallen from number one two weeks previous. But legendary song, Africa by Toto. Love this song. Wonderful tune. The number four song. Very interesting one. I'd kind of forgotten about this in his repertoire. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Now, sometimes Bob Seger is solo. So some of his hits are just Bob Seger. And then sometimes... He uses his band, and he called them the Silver Bullet Band, and they were just, you know, iconic. Everyone knows Bob Seger from, you know, Michigan. Shame on the Moon by Bob Seger. This is kind. Of, this is a song I don't hear very often currently on the radio. I don't hear Shame on the Moon quite a bit. Um, you know, you always hear, you know, you know, old time rock and roll, great. You know, one of it. You know, you hear, you know, Against the Wind, Like a Rock, but I don't hear Shame on the Moon a ton on the radio now. Um, backup vocals by Glenn Fry on this song. And this, interestingly, this song was written by country artist Rodney Crowell. I found that very interesting. I kind of thought Seeger wrote almost all of his songs, kind of like Springsteen writes, you know, almost 100% of his songs or, or like Prince did. But no, this song was written by country artist Rodney Crowell. But great song. You know, this song would actually peak at number two. Didn't quite make it to number one. But yeah, Shame on the Moon by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Oh, fun fact I, for, I wanted to mention also. This song also, also made it number 15 on the country music chart, Bob Seger's only song to do so. So there you go, number four, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Shame on the Moon. Okay, number three is a legendary song by a legendary artist who left us way too soon. And it is Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. Now, there's a very interesting backstory to this song. 
but I, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting, but I'm going to let people, I'm going to let people look at Wikipedia and find it out because I, I'm not a hundred percent comfortable saying what the backstory is, but you can find it on Wikipedia, but it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. And it was co-written by his friend, David Ritz. So Marvin wrote part of it. David Ritz wrote part of it. They're listed as co-writers on this song. This song is number three this week, and it actually peaked at number three, and it was Marvin's last top 40 hit and top 10 hit. Actually, top five hit, of course, too. Um, and everyone knows, well, I, I, I shouldn't say everyone knows because a lot of people may not have been around then, but um, Marvin was tragically murdered by his father in April of 1984. So this was actually Marvin Gaye's last hit. He had so many hits. I actually have his greatest hits on vinyl. It is so good. Oh my gosh, love him. Love Marvin Gaye. Wonderful song. Absolutely love it. So number three, Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. The number two song on this countdown is such a fun song. It has such a great backstory. It is Baby Come to Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram. Now this song was on Patty Austin's album. Growing up as a kid, I always kind of thought this was like a James Ingram song with just Patty Austin kind of singing on it, but it was actually on her solo album with James. James Ingram had so many hits. He had, you know, hits with, um, as a duet artist, he had hits with Linda Ronstad. He had just, James Ingram was a force on the charts. But yeah, this song was on Patty Austin's solo album um, in 1982. And this song actually gained popularity, I read on Wikipedia, when it was used on the show, this, um, the, the soap opera General Hospital, which those of you who grew up in the 80s remember how incredibly popular General Hospital was. Oh my gosh. I actually even watched it as a teenager. Everyone remembers like Luke and Laura's wedding in 19, I think it was 83 or 82, I can't remember. But yeah, I guess this, this song was used a lot as kind of a romance theme for Luke's character. I didn't know that until I read that, until I researched this. So very fascinating. This song did go to number one. And on this particular week, it was number two. And this song um, was written by Rod Temperton, who interestingly enough, wrote um, Rock With You by Michael Jackson and the song Thriller by Michael Jackson. So he was quite a songwriter, Rod Temperton. So here, that, there you go. Number two, Baby Come To Me, by Patty Austin and James Ingram. Love this song. And the number one song from February 12th, 1983. I come from a land down under. Yes, Men at Work, Down Under. What a legendary song and music video. I remember when my family first got MTV. This is one of the first music videos I remember. It was so funny. This band used so much humor. They're legends and they're native Australia. And oh my gosh, I love this tune. So this song was actually number one for four weeks, but they weren't consecutive. Very interesting. It was number one for three weeks, fell out, and then came back in to the number one spot, which is unusual. And it was written by Colin Hay, the lead singer of Men at Work. And it was just culturally, this song is gigantic. Like in, in Australia, this is almost, you know, basically an anthem. I mean, this song is played so often now. This song has really stood the test of time. And again, number one for four weeks, Men at Work, Down Under. Love it, love it, love it. I love the, I love the line where he says, And give me a Vegemite sandwich. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, guys, that's a really fun top five. This very interesting types of music in this top five. I don't know. I just really like this one. It's very diverse. You know, it's got some gigantic names on here, some Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. So again, just to recap, number five, Africa by Toto. Number four, Shame on the Moon by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Number three, Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. Number two, Baby Come to Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram. And the number one song for February 12th, 1983, Down Under by Men at Work. There you go. There you have it. Woo! Now, I'm going to rank these songs in the order of how much I like them. But before I do, I would like to shout out a wonderful friend of this channel, Bobby Lehman. 
Bobby, in the comments, you came up with an amazing idea, an absolutely beautiful, amazing idea. What was the number song? The, what was the number one song on your day of birth, on your birthday? So that Bobby told me what hers was. Um, it was Heart of Glass by Blondie. What a fun one for Bobby. Um, the number one song when I was born, ironically enough, I heard it through the grapevine by Marvin Gaye. And Marvin is in this countdown right here in 1983. Isn't that something? So it would be so fun, I think, if any of you would like to, in the comments, just, you could just, you know, Google it. You know, what was your number one song on the day you were born? You know, closest to whatever, whatever the countdown was that week. And let me know what the song was and if you like it or not. That would be very fascinating. And of course, I would love it if you ranked these five songs. If you're so interested in doing, I've, I've really enjoyed the comments. Guys, I love the back and forth on the comments on these American Top uh, 40 videos, Top 5 Songs by Billboard because... It just, it just really creates just some fun back and forth. I really love it when you guys rank these. So thank you so much for doing that. And let me know what your, uh, what the song was when you were born, if you'd like to. So guys, here we go. So thank you, Bobby, for that. Thank you so much. Now, these five songs, for what, for how I like them, it's, it's a very interesting mix. When I first look at this group, when I first looked at this group of songs, I thought there was an obvious number one that stood out, but I listened to every single one of these songs three times just to make sure, and it actually flipped my number one. So I'm gonna give you in order from five to one, which of these are my favorite. My fifth favorite song of these is Shame on the Moon by Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. Now, Bob Seger is an absolute legend, rock and roll hall of famer, total respect for his catalog. For some reason, and I don't know what it is, like, I am a huge Bruce Springsteen fan, gigantic Springsteen fan. For some reason, Seeker just doesn't connect with me like other artists have. And I, I can never figure it out. I don't know why. I don't dislike the song. It's a very good song. But this song is a, a definitely number five for me. So number five, Shame on the Moon by Bob Seeger and the Silver Bullet Band. Number four for me is Baby Come to Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram. And you know what? Just because it's number four does not mean I don't like it. I love this song. I really, really like it. This is just a really strong countdown and you know, something had to be number four. That's my really my only explanation is just that I like these other three songs better. So number four, Baby Come To Me, Patty Austin and James Ingram. Great song. My third favorite of these, this really surprised me. When I first looked at this list, I thought maybe this would be number one, but actually my third favorite of these is Down Under by Men At Work. I love the music video. I really, really love this song. I think I've just heard it one too many times and it just knocks it down just a slight bit for me just because I've heard it so many times. So number three, Down Under by Men at Work. Number two for me on this countdown, and this was difficult. I thought this was gonna be number one, but when I just re-listened to these songs, another one just stood out just slightly more. Number two for me is Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. I thought for sure when I saw this list, that was that would be my number one. I have the song on vinyl on Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits. I love Marvin Gaye's catalog. I love everything about his songwriting. Um, he actually has a song, Mercy, Mercy Me, The Ecology, which went to number two, and my daughter's name is Mercy. So I have a soft spot for Marvin Gaye. Um, but if it, it just can't, the number one song for me is, is just too strong. So my process of elimination, if you're following along, you will know that my number one song here of these five is Africa by Toto. Oh my gosh, what a verse. What the, the verses and the chorus, the back and forth between those two things are just absolutely wonderful. Love this song. Now, this song's played quite a bit too, but for some reason I just never tire of it. So my number one song, my favorite of these is indeed Africa by Toto. Now, I would love it if you rank these songs, if you have the time, and if you gave, if you give your, what the number one song is and listen to it and tell me if you like it or not. Thank you, Bobby Lehman, for this wonderful idea. I would love it if you did that too, if you have the time and inclination. If not, no biggie. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, next week, I'm filming this. I'm going to do this once a week, every single Monday, and get this out to you. Um, and again, you know, this is a Dollar Tree Hall channel, so we're going to do that all the time, but we're just kind of incorporating this. You know, this will always get less views than that, and I don't mind. It's just, just a really fun thing for me to do, and I love it, and I love the comments. So, next week's countdown is a really, really fun one. I looked ahead. February 18th, 1984. A very five unique, very, a very fun five, I should say. Very unique group of songs. Very different. Very different from one another. So until then, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Look for a Dollar Tree haul later this week on this channel. Until then, everyone, keep shining, keep smiling, keep shopping. <laughs>